came to be about. And I think that, you know, you have to look at a bigger picture than what's uh, being presented right here. I mean, slavery is still an issue, and I think it's an ugly stain on human history. There's places where it's still going on, like Libya or, you know, other countries. Why right. aren't they taking a stand against those places. Chris, how, I mean, this is going to be a, a turnout. You know they've been taking statues down around the country, yeah. mostly uh, Confederate diversity. Yeah, it does matter. I mean, there's a very big difference between active traitors to the Union, uh, Confederate leaders, and one of our founding fathers, Thomas Jefferson. I mean, when I first heard about the effort to take down the statue, I honestly thought it was a joke. Jefferson, yes, he was a slaveholder, but they're not putting it into historical context, and they're not acknowledging while, yes, he did some bad things, he also did some really good things, like uh, craft the Bill of Rights, which I run. Independence, and of course we know his institution, what he did in the University of Virginia, yeah. uh, vice president, first secretary of state, uh, and two-term president as the third overall. here and I thank God for uh, organizations like No Apology Broadcast or CampusReform.org uh, for allowing us to uh, you know speak on this. Uh, it's something that you really need to uh, get a you, you have to get a real grip on uh, the history of this nation. Yeah, it seems like people are running from it and being uh, re uh, being uh, derisive, divisive about it. Hostiles about issues that matter to them. We look forward to a continuing uh, civil exchange of ideas and perspectives on the subject. Now, we know what's happening in New Orleans. We have a mayor there who wants to run for president because of it. Final thought, Chris. Reform has been reporting all over the country of efforts to erase our national history. I am not sure at this point that Hofstra administration is going to take down the statue. One of the problems with the same thing with the counter petition, uh, a lot of students are planning to go to the protest this Friday and express their dissenting opinion. I hope that the statue stays. He is now going to open an investigation into FISA. Everyone should be concerned about this. President Trump has fired his Veterans Affairs Secretary. He is replacing David Shulkin. Everyone should be concerned about this. President Trump has fired his Veterans Affairs Secretary. He is replacing David Shulkin. Trump is picking a cabinet that he wants. The Trump administration is starting politics into sports like the NFL did, and people start to look for another option. Right. Uh, they, let's see if they can get everything we'll see, settled yeah. in Orlando <laughs> during their uh, meetings. All right, let's talk about what the big news came off yesterday by the, ins uh, by the inspector general into possible FISA abuse during the 2016 election. Election. That's right. So we've known about this. Uh, this is Inspector General Horowitz, who's been looking into uh, the Hillary Clinton probe now being expanded into. Looking at possible or, or likely FISA abuse, meaning spying on the Trump campaign at that time, looking at what role could have played at the DOJ and the FBI. Devin Nunes on this network earlier, how Democrats could have appeared to have weaponized to some degree. Take a listen to his take. What I think now the difference where we were from a few months ago, because of the obstruction, because of the covers, uh, by making everybody aware of this, asking their congressmen, why is it the Department of Justice can stonewall Congress for this long? Uh, I believe that Bob Goodlatte's subpoena is going to be enforced to contempt, and then we should move to impeachment. One of the mistakes we made. Uh, is we never impeached Lois Lerner and we never impeached uh, Cossigan. Had we had gotten away that, with it, we what wouldn't be here the, today. They got it. That happens. We need to find out as Americans was, was the law all broken. Did they use this, the dirty, the Democrats financed the dirty dossier. We know that. We know that that information was used to spy. Were any laws broken? Um, were there illegal? Was it was it illegal, or was there any influence on the 2016 election? We just don't have answers. And it, it, I was I was shocked this morning. I was reading that there's investigation sooner. We've been talking about this. We've mm -hmm. known about it for so long, and now there's an investigation.
investigation? Well, there's an IG report that's going to be out. It's supposed to be out in April. Uh, yep. So I think that's still going to happen. They're not going to wait. But I think one of the challenges at Michael Harbour, because I keep finding more information, and I just wonder this, is James Comey's book going to be additional right. information? Are they going to wait? for the Comey book to come out? Because... There's no way everybody is telling the truth because they've all been contradicting each other. Yes. The other one's 300 plus pages. I think James Comey, by the way, totally uh, misinterpreting the type of reception he's going to get because Hillary Clinton blames him for losing and Donald Trump fired him and thinks horrible things about him. James Comey despises the president, but certainly is not going to have a lot of allies on the left either. So. Good luck. Uh, I'm sure they already tour. have his book, by the way. I'm sure that they're already reading James Comey's book. Well, they would have the to DOJ. vet it at some, because of his classification level, security level. There'd have to be some level of vetting of whatever Absolutely. he's going to write. Yeah. Uh, although, although hopefully he plays by that process. There's also questions, Brian. This inspector general does he have the power to get to the bottom of it? He doesn't have the power to recall James Comey or recall you Andy McCabe. You know what McCabe. I want? I, I want to see more. the FISA applications. I want to see what the yes. judge saw. Yeah. I want to find out why Samantha Power asked for dozens of uh, to be unmasked. I want to find out well, what exactly was in the proposal to these judges to allow this, uh, the ongoing spying of uh, Carter Page. Hopefully we get to this. If he just gets to the paperwork that they will not release. The New York just Times is, asked for this. Doesn't it they just appear do it. that they're trying to hide something, though? Because they would release those documents. They would release all that information if they were innocent. And we had the judge on, Brian, earlier. He said 99.9% .9 of FISA applications are approved. One that wasn't was the first attempt to, to get a uh, wiretap on Carter Page or, or the Trump campaign. They actually had to revamp it after they used the dossier. So all of that is evidence that this IG could potentially be. And the at. fact that John Brennan was pushing out this story to other uh, political leaders <laughs> while the, the CIA director is calling Harry Reid saying push this mm -hmm. out, basically. Mm -hmm. How wrong is that? Also, uh, more uh, text messages, some of which redacted from Peter Strzok and, Lin, uh, and Lisa, Lisa Page. Page. That's right. And they, they suggest potentially even earlier uh, coordination in the Trump-Russia investigation. So these texts that have just co now come out are from August of 2016, and they show possibly a coordination between the CIA, John Brennan, the FBI, the folks over there, the Obama White House as high as his chief of staff, Dennis McDonough, as well as Senate Democrat leader Harry Reid uh, sharing information or talking about what they may or may not Working know and how together. it should get out in August of 2016, which, which means this whole uh, FISA process could have been something the White House was aware of as well. Right. Uh, and one of them says, uh, here we go. Harry Reid cites evidence of Russian tampering in U.S. vote and seeks FBI inquiry. They're commenting on what leaked out. Why did it leak out? According to Mike Lizkoff's book, uh, Harry Reid got a call from uh, John Brennan <laughs> to say, we're really concerned about links between Russia and Donald Trump. Harry Reid leaks it out. The FBI says, there you go. Mm -hmm. What is going on here? It's a game we're not invited to. Well, yeah. Obama, we're going to see the aftermath. Obama administration has countless countlessly said that they were not involved. They didn't know anything about this investigation. And now it appears that the chief of staff might have had information. Does he share that with President Obama at the time? Yeah. We don't know. Brian, the game we're not invited to because it was a game we were never supposed to see because Hillary Clinton was going to win and none of it was going to matter at all. Yeah, it's uh, really disturbing because I was one of the people that thought the FISA court was invaluable after 9-11 yeah. to give our intelligence people the, the ability to act quickly on would-be terrorists in our midst. And if it is being abused, the judge is 100% right. From the day it passed, he had a problem with it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he was, he was right on that. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, let's talk about Netflix, not what you watched last night, which, by the way, uh, I watched... Um, the Queen? I, no, I can't really watch that. <laughs> uh, but I will say this. Uh, there's some backlash now because who Netflix hired. That's right. So some people are threatening, and myself included, to cancel their Netflix subscriptions after former UN ambassador, you know her, Susan Rice, was named to the board. Now this, as we're hearing that former President Obama is also working with Netflix potentially on a series. A lot of people feel like after what she did, uh, especially on Benghazi, the way she misrepresented that perspective, it feels like yet another uh, internet or media behemoth welcoming in liberals and saying, uh, come on board. It's not shocking. But what if you're in the middle of a series? <laughs> do you still cancel? Well, what uh, if you're in what, the middle of your first free well, month? Put it this way. Uh, do you see how he's couching it? He goes, no. I'm considering. No, no, canceling. I already did it. I already did it. I got an email this morning from Jen. She canceled it. I canceled mine. 
Oh, God. Wow. Really? Really? Yes. Are you in the middle of a series right nope. now? Nope. That's okay. why. Here's it. Look it at easier. that. We've canceled your membership. Look at the bottom. The box that's checked. It says Susan Rice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Rice, of course. Reason uh, of is that your Susan picture? You no, took no, no, that? no. That was Jen's oh. picture. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, President Obama's got a series on there. People are upset because he said, uh, she also said that Bo Bordell <laughs> served with honor, honor and distinction. Yes. Uh, also, yes, uh, Susan Rice was the one who quickly scrambled on Inauguration Day to chronicle that January 5th meeting between President Obama, uh, getting briefed on the Trump investigation. People wonder, what was that about? Mm -hmm. Why did you go back and... Mm -hmm. So people wonder, you know, how complicit she might be or not be in this investigation. I but forgot about the... statements from Netflix why they do this Listen, I think these corporate boards are stacked with a lot of people who are formerly in government. It's the cycle of the swamp. It's like you, you have an upgrade to another one. It's how that whole elite group works together. Right. And we're not invited. Well, if you want Washington on your side, you would think Netflix would put a Republican in or a Trump supporter, right? Because what influence does it And residual. And uh, they got a lot more pull than, unfortunately, we think they do. You talk about elite and you talk about influence, that's you, that's, you're talking Jillian, right? <laughs> of course. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah. Actually, I may be the only person on earth that has never had Netflix. Oh, gosh, no. I've got to introduce you. don't have you. a smart TV? Hello, I'm Jillian. I live well, under before a rock. today. <laughs> before today, we would have introduced Yeah. Actually, I may be the only person on earth that has never had Netflix. Oh, no. gosh, I've got to introduce you. don't have you. a smart TV? Hello, I'm Jillian. I live well, under before a rock. today. <laughs> before today, we would have introduced the Queen. The Queen is amazing. Oh, okay. it's great. It's I've never even heard of it. The Thanks. royal family that we are following right now. North and South Korean leaders setting a date for a historic summit. The two sides will meet April 27th for the first time since 2007. The dictator promising to denuclearize ahead of his faith. Kim Jong Un will do what is right. Big changes at the VA coming courtesy of President Trump, the Commander-in-Chief firing David Shulkin as Secretary and nominating White House physician Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson to read for overseas trips. The move comes as Americans recognize Vietnam War Veterans Day today, which the President implemented last year. A presidential surprise for an eight-year-old wanting one thing. Three letters, one to the President, his daughter Ivanka, and Santa Claus. Christmas passed, but this week, finally heard back called for the need uh, the attorney general is now saying the inspector general will be looking into it uh, is this a good development and is it sufficient well it means that they're following the facts and uh, he's completing a an investigation uh, nearly a year long what this indicates to me is he's actually got some real evidence out there and he's warning a second investigation. People that have left the employment of the government. government and Michael Horowitz is good and as talented as he and his staff are they don't have the jurisdiction to go talk to people who like Mr. McCabe for instance who's now left uh, tools in place to go interview those people and to prosecute those people if they find anything McCabe for instance who's now left uh, tools in place to go interview those people and to prosecute those people if they find anything that were people have broken the law. So this inspector general was looking into the the uh, email server, audited into the reality. The real investigation should be into the investigators themselves and the abuse of the FISA process. Um, you, but you say they should be coupled together. Need a special prosecutor and the IG at the same time. Dr. Mueller is evidently not doing his job based on the one-page directive that he was given. Uh, not only was he supposed to look at directly at the uh, Donald Trump and any collusion, even though we don't see any evidence. Number two on that one page was to follow the evidence of anything else that he might have seen about meddling in the election. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of evidence about the uh, Democrat 
money overseas on this fake dossier. But it does not appear that Mueller is pursuing any of that. That's why I think the inspector general, coupled with a yet-to-be-named appointment of a special prosecutor. A holistic swamp perspective as someone who tried to do oversight and was aggressive about it. Coupled with hmm. a yet to be named appointment of a special prosecutor. A holistic swamp perspective as someone who tried to do oversight and was aggressive about it. Why do these things take so long? Why, why do they, as a casual observer, it's investigation after subpoena after special counsel sexual information. What is it about the process that makes it so hard to get to the bottom of it? Because Congress never stands up for itself. I issued a subpoena when I was chairman of the Oversight Committee back in 2016 for all many did it, but it never held them in contempt back in August of last year. Still didn't get those materials. And now Bob Good could be impacted. Don't say that. And go ahead, parents. Let your kids. Uh, is that right? And by the way, how does the prize taste at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly. So now what you do here, you mix it all up and then you put it on a uh, parchment line.